What is it? The snake. What if he was not the last? Of course he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. If there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! <laughs> I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later. Enjoy the Hippodrome. Don't lose all your money at the races. I don't feel safe anymore. The gods are not welcome in Alexandria. Now I pray a moon save me. Magi, over here. Priest? But why are you on the street? The guards discovered that I gave their food back to the people. Now they hunt me. I have a bounty on my head. Being a priest of light is a dark job in this filthy city. I can get you out of Alexandria, priest, if you like. But... I cannot keep you safe forever. I ask too much of you, Magi. There is a small temple north of here that will take me in. The Philakitai will be watching the roads, Magi. We must leave by the canal. There should be boats there. I will spew arrows on any who get in our way. Be like a moon, priest. Perhaps we can sneak you out without the guards knowing. Priest, I will take care of these guards. Ha! You call that a swing? Come at me! You can come out now, Priest. I... I've never seen blood before in such quantities. The Devourer and Apep must be smiling. And the smell... The stench... You get used to it. Really? No. Bayek, it is rare that priests are called upon to serve the people. And now I suffer for it. You are to serve the gods, priest, not the people. But is that enough? The gods have wants, needs, but so too do the people who walk the land. I fear that is a question best left for others to answer. Thanks, Serapis. <sighs> now, what were we saying? <laughs> Thanks, Serapis. <sighs> what were we saying? This is where you and I part, Magi. I am a priest no longer. Lysander was my name. It will be nice to be Lysander once more, I think. Walk in peace then, Lysander. And you, Magi. Bayek. Thank you.
I'm by. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you'll be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. His name was Icarus, the glory of the raucous Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus. Je <sighs> Senifa, is it you? Bayak, you sour facey one. <laughs> I, I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Icarus was a thousand times better than you. <laughs> Who's going to lead you greens now, Malakia? You're a babe at the teeth. You think you can win the Curses Magnus? <laughs> oh, shit! Leave Nikias alone. Icarus's death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. So... Is Aya with you? Ah, hey, I'm alone. <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> Ask my foot next time. <laughs> no matter. Join us at the tavern later. Hmm? <laughs> I saw you ride last month when five chariots all crashed at the turn. So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bayak. How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind, too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Hmm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. The only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah! I need another drink! <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I overheard Clarida say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring, huh? Where are you taking me, Senefa? Please, 
Claridas. I have not been Senefer in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Move, now! Get out of my way! What are you doing? And and your name? Your home? Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them! I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Aye. Huh? Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I gave up. Oh, the world is hard. You always look down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You chose this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you could roll onto the track and win races with no training, no skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claridas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide. You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. <laughs> Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. Nebeth, what grief has swallowed you? We... we came to pay our respects to Icarus. To make an offering for him. To ride victoriously in the next life. But... but... Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Kalius spat in their faces, they struck him down. 
they killed him, then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now, my younger son Icarus has gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear he'll join his brother. We came to mourn our hero, and now my family is destroyed. Please, Magi, save my last son. Don't let his life end today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. I've always said green fans are the dumbest. What are we going to do with him? That bus was nice, but he didn't have any money on it. Shame you threw it into the river. Could have sold it for coin. No, I'll give no respect to that bastard Icarus or the blasted greens. Better to curse them in the upcoming races. Can we ransom him back to his family? They looked wealthy. Great idea. We'll send a message to his mother that if she doesn't pay his weight in drachma, he'll be joining his namesake in the mud. <laughs> but for now, let's drink. Wait a second. Brother, but there were too many for me. I'm hurt. You have to help me kill them. All right. We will show them justice. Ready if they come, Adelfe. I don't see anything. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. This sagging cock stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great charioteer's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please, find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. Even in death, you ignite their passions, Icarus. 
Let's get you where you belong. Metai! You saved my son! A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus! Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. I did not expect to see you here. Quite the estate. Yes, we've been lucky. Father breeds horses, and his horses have often won in the games. I told him about meeting you. You told him what? Not much. That you are a rider. That you know Claridas well. Too well. By half. Come. He would love to meet you. Beautiful, isn't she? Bright eyes, flawless gait. Hey, she wants to win, eh? You know a thing or two about horses. Nikias, who is your friend? Father, this is Bayek. He wants race with Claridas. My father, Philocrates of Canopus, son of Themistocles of Canopus. Grew up with Claridas? Let's see you drive, Barak. Nikias, keep close. Maybe you'll learn something. It's Bayek. Ah, fine. The Siwa have a great course for racing. No. We are a small village. We did have chariots. The old kingdom and its pharaohs brought them. I envy that freedom. you raised Claridas? A long while. I barely know the name. Careful! Tighter on the reins! Watch the statuary! Icarus was the true master of the races. Something Claridas hopes to aspire to. My father loved Icarus. He was his favorite, his favorite rider. Let's show my father your natural skill. You have a light touch! You are a natural! With you riding for the green, I'm sure we can win in the Hippodrome! What's going on? Something's wrong! Steal, Saranagi! Sorry, sir. Where is my son? <laughs> oh, Negias! Horse thieves! Here! The balls on them! She is my winning guest horse. You have to get her back. We won't let you down, father. 
I a tie you, Relu? Hurry, men! We can't let these brazen raiders get away with this! The honor of Prasina Green depends on it! For Prasina Green! Keep a sharp eye out! Your father loves that horse more than... more than all the others we've raised. For Philocrates! For Saganaki! We must be getting close. For Icarus, for Grasina Green. For the Green! Move out of the road. How many bandits do you think there are? Do not worry. We have the Medjai with us. We will be fine. Who are these bandits? Scum who are working for the Blues, I'm sure. Have you heard about the great hungry ones? Who are they? Bandits down south. I think they write war hippos. What? Are you serious? So I've heard. <laughs> huh? Slow down the pursuit! Probably get to the others! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Indications of violence and bloodshed. I should investigate.
Serapis, God of Divine Majesty and Lord of the Sun, someone has placed a mark upon you. The Scorpion is the sign of Circuit. <laughs> Curious, sinister writings. The poor man was half eaten by crocodiles, but only after he died. Someone prepared him for burial and cut out some of his sacred organs. His stomach, at least, was removed. This symbol, a dedication to Serket, the goddess of magic, the scorpion. Old blood stains this table. I think the body was prepared here, but crudely. This is no fine skilled work. These deaths seem like a kind of perverse ritual against the gods. Who or what is driving it? By Serapis, you did it! I cannot believe it! I was convinced we'd never see Saranagi or my son again! I dealt with the bandits who stole her. I suspect they stole Saganaki on behalf of your blue rivals. Gods, blast them! We'll have to beat the blues in the races to teach them shame and humiliation. I hope you raise wearing the green, I... Barrett. I will do my best. Ich 
Apollodorus. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. You was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that I acclaim you to be. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. Guarded. Don't forget about me! Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. Apollodorus sent me to help you. 
Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. 
Can I ask why you wanted Eudora's dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. Learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, Bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hold the crowd. <laughs> Bees! Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep. With anyone, as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebsheven. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasharemta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. They have been unable to touch the order. <clears throat> Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. One called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. 
You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still... Gina will weep with joy when we clear the protector map of, of the true pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow.